Hello, everybody. I have a um, awesome up thrifting, I guess you could call it, uh, shopping spree, I guess, video for you today. So first off, I want to talk about this amazing bookstore that I found in Louisville, Kentucky. It's called Butcher Cabin Books. It is a horror themed bookstore. It is awesome. Now I'm hoping to get back there sometime soon so I can film it because there's other shops surrounding it that are just as cool and I found some really cool stuff in there as well. But let me show you what I found at Butcher Cabin Books. So first of all, the whole reason that we went there was because here in um, the county that we live in, we have a horror book club that meets at our local library. And we went as a group to Butcher Cabin Books and we chose for our book of the month to be This Wretched Valley. Now, this book was written by Jenny Kiefer, who also owns Butcher Cabin Books out of Louisville, Kentucky. Um, so we went there. She just happened to be there uh, when we were there and we got her to um, autograph and personalize our books for us, which was really cool. We got to chit chat with her for a little bit. It was really cool to meet this awesome young lady. This is her debut book and wow is all I can say about it. It is a thrill ride, let me tell you. Um, I loved this book, you guys. Uh, if you're into um, horror or even mystery, I would say, um, even, you know, because it, it is a good mystery too. There's some good mysteries in this book as well. Another fascinating uh, fact about this book is it's based on Red River Gorge, which if you have ever heard of that is here in Kentucky. Um, and a lot of people go and they like to climb there. I had been there once when I was a child. I haven't been back since, but I plan on going because I'd really love to take my husband there. And especially after reading this book, now I really want to go there. Um, so that makes it even more awesome. So I just wanted to put this out there. Butcher Cabin Books, This Wretched Valley, check it out. So what else did I get at Butcher Cabin besides that book and this, also tea, this awesome t-shirt? Well, I got some books from other Kentucky uh, horror writers. Next up, it's called Below uh, by Laurel Hightower. And can you guess why I got it? Mothman is on the front. And the uh, adorable lady uh, that uh, was uh, running the register there at uh, Butcher Cabin Books, uh, I picked it up because, you know, it caught my attention that it has uh, Mothman and it's a local writer. And she said that she had read the book and it was amazing. And if you've ever been to Point Pleasant, then this book will, you know, you'll know exactly the areas that she's talking about in this book. And I'm like, yep, that's for me because I have been to Point Pleasant. And uh, as side note, our uh, book club is planning a field trip to Point Pleasant in sometime in the near future as well. So um, I had to grab this book. I haven't read it yet, but I am anxious to read it. So... Uh, I will read it and I'll review it for you here on the channel so that um, if you want to pick it up as well, you can. Now, I paid $12.95 for this, um, which to me is a really good, really good deal. Now, <clears throat> it's a, a very light read. As you can see, this will be a one day for me, maybe a few hours for me, depending on what I have going on <laughs> that day. So... This is a light read, but I'm excited to read it. So yeah, I can't wait. I'm hoping that it's really, really good, which I'm sure it's going to be. Um, next up, we have Kentucky's Strange and Unusual Haunts by Jacob Floyd and Jenny Floyd. And now this one I paid uh, $14.99 for, and it's actually pretty thick. Uh, it's it, This one's gonna be a couple of days, maybe two or three days to get through, um, but I am so excited to read it. I want to know all of Kentucky's Strange and Unusual Haunts. So, yes, I am super excited to read this one. And last but not least, we have Ghost Hunting Kentucky by Patty Starr. And I paid $17.95 for this book. It's very thick as well. So this is going to be a lot, you know, a weekend read as well. But I am super excited 
uh, to start reading this. Now, I had heard of Patty Starr before as well, um, just from reading some things online. So when I saw that this book uh, was, you know, put out by Patty Starr, I was like, oh, okay, I've heard of her. It's ghost hunting in Kentucky. That's my thing. I am a ghost hunter. So I'm like, I have to have that book. I don't care what the price is. I'll take it. Um, so I paid $17.95, like I said, for this. Um, so I cannot wait to get started reading this as well. My TBR, to be read, stack of books just keeps piling and piling and piling and piling. Um, but I can't help it. That's my thing. So, <laughs> so that is what I... Picked up. Oh, and my husband got an, uh, a shirt just like this as well um, while we were there. And he picked up a few books as well while we were there. So along that same strip area, on down a little bit, is a store. Uh, it's called Unorthodox. You can look it up out of Louisville, Kentucky. They sell some really cool stuff in there. They have taxidermy stuff. It's all dark and twisted stuff, which you know is, is up my alley. Um... So I really, really loved this place. They have some books too. Um, they even had an old embalming machine for sale, you guys. $500. And I was like, oh my God, that is so cool. I really, really wanted to get it, you guys. Like it, if I had somewhere to put it, it would have come home with me. Let's just say that because that is freaking awesome. I don't know what... Uh, era it's from I just know that it's very old school um but yeah I was like oh my god how cool is that an old embalming machine really really cool and they sell like little um like um just little quirky type of uh spooky kind of stuff you know uh, so they have a basket um that's by the checkout counter and in this basket, it's full of brothel coins. Yes, you heard me correctly, brothel coins. Now, apparently this is becoming a pretty popular thing. I'm sure these are probably reproduction, but in my mind, I like to think that they're not and that they really are real, legit, you know what I'm saying? Um, they have the feel like they would be real. They're like worn out and they're old, but I'm pretty sure it's probably a reproduction. Um, so there's some that have different sayings on them. There's some that are from different states. Um, so I just kind of closed my eyes and reached in the basket and picked one up. One that felt like it was calling me. So I just reached in and grabbed it. So here is the front. It says all night, $3 check on it. Here's the front. Pretty cool. And then here is the back. more up to the camera there. I apologize for the the lighting. There we go. That's some good lighting right there. You can pause it and read it if you want to, but I'll tell you what it says. It says um, on the outer top, it says uh, the Octa Rune, and then on the bottom it says Los Angeles. Uh, Madam Bolinger, you will receive sport enough to last for a year to come. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is my first brothel coin. Um, I looked this up. You can buy these on Amazon. Uh, you can buy them on eBay, Etsy, even Timu has some, you guys. I'm sure they're nothing nowhere near as nice as this one um, because this actually looks very legit, you guys, but I'm pretty sure it, it's probably a reproduction considering I only paid five bucks for it. Um, but I want to get more and I want to buy from small businesses. So, I want to go back to Louisville and grab some more, and I am going to um, buy a, some sort of display uh, to hang on my wall and have these brothel coins displayed. So that was my first one. So I'm pretty excited about it. There's also a store that we went into that sells gems and rocks. Um, I did pick up some, uh, some rocks, but I don't want to show them because they're already put away. I didn't think about, you know, that I was going to be making this video. I mean, I was going to, but not thinking, and I just put them away. I really don't want to touch them once I've got them where I want them. Um, I really don't want to retouch them again and get them out and go through that whole process again. But I did pick some up from there as well. 
Uh, I believe the store's called Goldheart, I think it is. Um, awesome place. The people that work in there are amazing. There's also a bunch of vintage and thrift stores in that little strip, too, that we went in. Um, and they had some really cool stuff. And like I said, I want to go back to that area in the near future and just film all of those shops um, so that you guys can see how cool it is. So, um, <laughs> and that is in Louisville, Kentucky. So if you want to make a little trip, a little road trip, I highly recommend it. Um, definitely check it out. If you're into the macabre and, the, and horror and spooky shit, this would be right up your alley. All right, that's going to do it for today's thrifting video. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day.